Well, we're up to 60 bucks. Got a little under three minutes to go. All right, everyone, while we're here, there's no crazy intro here. Um, they just uh, opened the lock and walked away. So <laughs> you left me with this. This is a uh, abandoned storage unit. I bought at auction for $60. Um, the door's a little messed up, that's what he said. Um, but it shouldn't matter because I want to get all this stuff out in one day. I don't have anything back here but some scrap metal. I picked up on the way here um, but yeah I paid $60 for the storage unit hopefully it's gonna be worth it uh, I know the cheaper units usually are really small and there's usually not a lot in there but I figured for 60 bucks you really can't lose and I think the reason why I went for as much as it did is because there's a PlayStation 5 controller box there I didn't know what that was on the picture it looked like a computer but uh, yeah let's jump into it we get some gloves on and uh, see what we got maybe some uh, Need some treasure and something here. All right, well, let's put that up because I don't want to hit my head on that. This string is going to be kind of annoying, but you know, what are you going to do with it? Um, so yeah, uh, I paid six dollars for this unit. There's pretty much nothing more that I, I can really talk about other than that I spent six, spent sixty bucks for it. What is this filter? Ah, oh, that's not exact. That is not at all what I thought it was. Um, all right, well, I'll start off the day with some garbage, I guess. This looks like personal pictures. Right. Move this filter thing. I think the fun thing about this unit will be definitely go through all the boxes, which is why I bought it. Um, There were a handful of units, not at this facility, but a handful of units that uh, went for sale within this chain. And uh, I know usually I get a lot of comments on these videos about um, you know where you can find these storage units, how can you purchase them. Oddball DVDs, Hunger Games. Um, I do talk about that in all my other videos. I can't address all those questions every single time I do a storage unit video. So if you're new around here, you want to see more, you're curious about things, definitely make sure to subscribe down below. I'll get to, oh, I see some PlayStation games. Oh, that is Christmas tree. Find enough of those in the, <laughs> out in the wild. I wonder what's in those boxes. Should probably also move this guy. See if that's what's in there. It looks like it's brand new. Even though it was taped. I can't tell if it's new or not. Not like it really matters. I mean, that side looks a little scratched. It looks brand new to me. Be weird to save all this for a used heater unless you put it away during the summer. I don't know what a brand new mainstays heater cost. I guess that's Walmart. That's probably at least thirty dollars. I mean, it probably works if they kept it in the box. My assumption is they just. Like, you would never store something like this broken in a storage unit. So it probably was like a seasonal thing, and they put it in here in summer, my guess. Okay. Hmm. Who are those people? Action Woman 3-pack. Collect all the Action Women. Winnie, Kim, and Shelly.
This must be like one of those ones that you get made by yourself. I have no idea. This is a first by me. Okay. Alright, we got a religious thing. Oh, more cat stuff. Man, I uh, cleaned out a storage unit last year. Oh, these have some weight to them. Clean out a storage unit last year. I think it was like last spring. It had, I can't tell you how many bins and boxes of cat stuff. It did all sell. Um, cats and dogs, animals in general, usually do sell very well. Uh, some broken figurines down there. It's a print. It's a flea market box. I don't know what to do with these action figures. Those are kind of neat. They're interesting. They're different. But I think they're kind of, they must be homemade. That I'm not sure. I always thought it'd be interesting to uh, own a business uh, making custom like bobbleheads or action figures. That might be what that is. What's in the next bin? Looks like sneakers, maybe. Oh, no, maybe. Let's see what's in this. All right, sneakers in there, okay. They are used. I thought, see I saw this tag here, I thought these are brand new sneakers, they're not, they're close to it, they are nice, they don't look very comfortable, I don't know how Adidas, I don't really wear Adidas anymore, but yeah, they're definitely not brand new, but they look like they're very just like hard as a rock, the sole, the, uh, the sole would be probably decent support, yeah they're just like firm should be the correct terminology. Some beanie babies. That is very interesting. Um, probably get like three bucks for these, maybe five for the others. So that's eight dollars. I don't know what I'm going to do with the heater. I'm not going to scrap it. Oh, it just got really, really warm in here. Interesting. I like the uh, the cheap units that don't um, don't have a lot of just bulk garbage. Those are usually nice. Quick check. Oh, this is heavy too. That's where all the money is. This is where all the money is. So, if you're ever curious, why is it so heavy? If you're ever curious about these storage units, the real ones, um, yeah, it's just paperwork. Paperwork, not money talks about the beverages and supply there's like a notepad I think someone might want the bag it's a nice messenger bag but if you're ever curious about like these storage units and you like to watch the storage unit videos or at least see what's in these units um, I do post them quite often sometimes they're really good sometimes they're like a handful of items but um, I do post these storage unit videos often so if you don't want to go through the work of having to clean them out and then storing it and throwing stuff away and then selling it and you just want to see what's like in these storage units subscribe down below because i'll be posting a bunch more in the future and i have a whole playlist on storage units i don't know what's in there I should probably also go through this one box i'm standing over rather than just keep going everywhere else that looks like decorations that is for blood pressure and measuring your heartbeat I guess I think that's a bag these storage units I always get a lot of questions and comments about them about do you think the manager went through this? Do you think the facility went through this? Do you think this is an eviction unit? Do you think they already took all the stuff they didn't want? This is actually a decent brand. This is made by Betsy Johnson, which I think I found one in the past, and a lot of people said it was worth a decent amount of money. I don't think I'm just tripping right now. I think people really said that, but this is made by Betsy Johnson. 
We were playing that right there. It's in good shape. Um, I don't know where I was going with this, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have my favorites when it comes to storage facilities. I think if you've done this enough, you kind of have to make your favorites. But so far from what I've seen is like they, they must have taken the stuff they really wanted. They've left, you know, a handful of things that has monetary value. Hey, look, another bin. As the saying goes, you got yourself $30 in bins in here. I might go through this box. Maybe there's a PlayStation 5 controller box on there. Maybe the games are in here. Maybe the system. No. We have a vacuum cleaner. A handful of CDs. These are upside down. The last unit I cleaned out were all um, country gospel and various country varieties. This is not. We have um, Bruce Springsteen, Whitney Houston, Barbara Streisand, Nat King Cole. I do have Reba McIntyre. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, Hootie and the Blowfish. So this is not, there is some country, there's Kenny Rogers in there. Right, rock band. This is for anyone out there. Trans World Surf. Why does this look like the most bootleg game ever? It's not look legit at all. All right. Aggressive inline. Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2. And they feel like they're in there, so I'm not gonna open up every single cartridge. That looks like it might be a computer game. Man, do you remember the days? I feel like it was like the mid-90s when computer games were like insanely popular. I remember playing this golf game on my dad's computer. I don't even think I liked golf at the time. I don't even think I knew what was going on. Those are just like um, little tools. Let's see what else is in this Nah, it's just nothing. Sands Bethlehem Casino. Is it the sand? No, it's not the Sands anymore. It's called the Wind Creek. That's what those playing cards are. And then we have a lock. Ooh, it even has the key. All right. So I don't know if those games are worth anything. I don't see if I've got any really crazy model or crazy names. But between CDs and the other stuff in here, I would say $15, $20. Maybe $25. This is... Maybe we'll find a controller or the system, but this is just a box. That's just a box. Let's see what's in this box. Books. Longevity books. Dean Kutz. I think that's a decent author. Silent Night, more Dean Kutz. Patrick Cornwell, this has a bookmark in it. It's not money. Whole box of books. Oh. Interesting. Blu-ray player. Very random. Winter walking. These are spare spikes. Uh, gonna have to go through every purse now, I think. It's part of the uh, tradition of storage units. There's nothing in there, um, but you ever find, there seems like there's a bunch. Ever find purses in a storage unit, you gotta go through them. That's just what's all in here. Who makes that? I don't know what logo that is. I hope the lighting's good for this clip. This thing, that has some weight. I think that's pretty much it. Whole bag of bags. All right, let's see what's in this one. It's 
This one has, it's probably just more bags. Oh, this is made by Dickies. Do you know Dickies made star, star bags like this? I thought Dickies only made like uh, denim stuff. Hey look, more bags. All right. Probably get a couple dollars for this. I mean, this is something that you probably really need if you need it. You just gotta make sure to remember to bring this. This has some interesting items in it. Not really a whole lot. We have one NASCAR car. I don't even know who that is. Still don't know who that is. It's one NASCAR car. And it looks like a whole bag of these Budweiser Steins. I don't know if these things are coming back in style. But I sure hope they are. There's another three in there. Which, I mean, I don't know if they're any different. No, they're just Budweiser. I don't know if you want to see them all, but I, they're Budweiser Steins. They look almost identical to each other. And a uh, Wegmans bag. One. What the heck? This is one thing that a lot of people might not be familiar with. I'm not familiar with this at all. Um, but brick trading. Yeah, there's no name on the back. Some of these bricks are stamped with names. Um, and there's literally collectors out there who will go around and do these trade meets. It's, it's a very interesting scene. If you're not familiar with it, I would say to look it up at some point. Uh, but it's very interesting. It's, it's very unique and different. It's not about uh, money as much as it is about like just trading and finding one that you really want. Uh, but people trade bricks. Like It's like a whole thing where you, you line up six or eight bricks, you run around, um, and then like, you swap out bricks, and then you, like, you reserve a brick. It, it's, it's very interesting anyway. This is not underneath that category, but it is a brick, and it's painted. Someone painted a, uh, a house with a picket fence around it. Very neat. I never knew somebody would ever paint a brick like this, but it's art. Very cool and different. Another Christmas tree. Might have had an obsession with Christmas. We have another box up here. Oh, they're all like toys. Or die cast, not die cast, model kits. Kind of dirty. What's a box in them? They look like just parts. Midnight Rider. Hess truck. I don't know. Maybe it's a flea market item. Maybe somebody wants it for parts. Doesn't look like there's anything really complete there. It's got random things like the like this one piece. It's just the uh, the cab of a truck. Interesting. For your cat or very small dog or a ferret. I know some people like the camera stationary and some people like the camera like a point of view shot. So I'm kind of mixing them both. Hopefully it's going to please a lot of you um, in terms of the videography of this video. Also not closed this door ever since I opened it. This one has some weight. Wonder if it's closed. Oh, I haven't found food yet. This one also looks like they duct taped it. You see how it's duct taped? Not like that's gonna mean anything in the grand scheme of things. I mean, anyone could have duct taped this. It looks like it was duct taped there. Um, uh, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Felt kind of like it'd be closed. That's a really nice blanket. Ooh, that one's brand new. Warm and snuggly, cool stuff for your space throw blanket. And there's some belts at the bottom. All right, that's in there. I don't know what this scene is. I don't wanna, 
Uh, looks like it might be a horse or something. That's the ears of the horse. That's the eye. I don't know how I saw it like that, but... What the heck? What is that? It's a saddle. For what? Your dog? I think that's a saddle for your dog. Because that says Kim's winter plus dog clothes and we have found some dog stuff. I'm pretty confident that is a saddle you put on your dog. Can't say I've ever seen that in my life, but there's a first for everything. That's about it. It's all clothes and belts at the bottom. Might not even be what I think it is. Ah, clothes. Nothing really on these clothes. 2005 Long Beach Island. This looks like a track jacket. It's a dry fit, probably Nike. It is Nike. And if you've ever cleaned out a storage unit, I'm going through these clothes pretty quickly just because it's like, they're just blank shirts. If you ever clean out a storage unit, It smells exactly like how a bin of storage unit clothes smell like. So if you know that smell, you can smell it through the TV or the computer, whichever way you like to watch these videos. So this is just garbage, but you're going to like this if you're a 90s kid, not this. Or even an 80s kid. You'll probably at least get a kick out of it. In fact, I think it's just kind of like a toy. Yeah, 2017. Look at that. If you know, you know. That was one of like the coolest TV shows in the 90s. And I'm pretty sure the 80s. Um, Legends of the Hidden Temple. If you go back and like watch some of these videos on Legends of the Hidden Temple, they are uh, so interesting. You just kind of want to shake your head. But then again, you know, when you're a kid, things are so much different. But it was a great show. I absolutely loved watching it. I guess you get that probably at like one of those Halloween stores. There's sweatbands, a microwave, or a toaster oven kind of thing. The interesting thing is you find in a storage unit. So like my concluding thoughts is I don't think anyone went through this stuff. I just think that the person probably knew that they weren't going to make payment and probably took away a lot of the stuff that was valuable. But then again, I mean, if you live in a small apartment, you probably would just put this stuff in a storage unit. Some things are a little interesting, like a microwave. I don't know why you kind of, unless you're moving, I don't know why you would, um, why you would store it because you'd probably use it if it didn't work you'd just throw it out so the microwave i don't understand the heater or air conditioners that's very possible like if it's the wrong season you just don't want to have the heater in your house you live in a small place you probably just want to get rid of it you know you, you put it away in storage hmm What the heck? Kim's Winter and Dog Clothes. Oh. Like dog clothes. Like, I don't know why I didn't think dog clothes was dog clothes. Jesus's Casa. Could also be Jesus. Jesus' Casa. This. And no, I didn't just do that. I thought I just did that. I did not. I was already ripped like that. Imagine I put this on salsa. I don't think it would fit on her. But for like a small dog, I guess it can fit on her. Or fit on him, him or her. 
Yeah, it just looks like. I guess it's more just winter clothes for a dog. That's a dress. That has a price tag on it, which is probably some $135. That just all dog clothes. These, this was ten dollars. These are little booties for a dog. They would definitely not fit salsa. They have a small dog. Probably fit him. Won't fit my dog. All right, and now we're on to the last bin, which is actually the heaviest. This, yeah, this is sealed still. There you go. Now it's. Heck, it's poop face winter. Somebody who just didn't like someone. All a bunch of winter, winter clothes. Ooh, Devils. I'm not a Devils fan. Go Rangers. Oh, this is nice. This is made by L.L. L. Bean. Ah, oh, it's got some auction tag on it what the heck is that one of those shirts just throwing all these shirts here I just put them right back in but might as well go through them on camera right it's just a blank shirt another auction I don't even know what ACV auction is like it's got to be somewhat local These are nice, nice clothes though. Like it's not junk clothes. That's a nice looking jacket. Nothing wrong with that. Some more hoodies. Some more hoodies. I don't see any. Well, it did say winter, right? This one still has a tag on it. This was sixty dollars at Kohl's. I really hope someone. Use one of those Kohl's cash discount things because that's 60 bucks for sweatpants. That's crazy. Yeah, this is just all just clothes. Men's clothes. Nothing else besides sweaters or jackets or sweatpants. And a handful of t shirts, but nothing like that's a, like a Christmassy kind of t shirt. All right, I'll just put that all back in. Kind of a shame there wasn't any summer clothes in there because I think with the quality of the winter clothes, I think the summer clothes probably would have been pretty decent. Uh, in terms of like t-shirts or hats, um, I think there probably would have been some decent stuff in there, but can't be too choosy. Um, one of the other things I noticed with winter clothes is it's very, very easy to sell a sweatshirt or a jacket at the early parts of the flea market season. Because there's often a lot of days where you wake up, you think, oh, I'll be all right with a sweatshirt. You get to the flea market and you are just freezing. Um, in fact, there's a lot of times that you tell yourself, all right, if I find a jacket or a sweatshirt for under $5, I'm going to just buy it just so I'm not miserable for the rest of today. Uh, so that bin of jackets and, and sweatshirts might even pay for my whole unit. Uh, there's probably about eh, maybe about eight or ten sweatshirts in there and jackets, a lot of sweatpants. But... Yeah, we found some cool things in there. It wasn't a complete bust. Uh, for $60, I think it was a very fair unit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this wonderful treasure hunt. If you guys enjoy uh, storage unit videos, enjoy seeing the authentic storage unit clean outs just like this, uh, make sure to subscribe down below. I will be posting a bunch more and plan on uh, bidding on a bunch more over the next couple of weeks. So maybe next week we'll have a storage unit, maybe the following week, but I plan on posting a bunch more here in 2023. Uh, so yeah. You guys enjoyed the video hit the like button thanks for coming along thanks for enjoying the wonderful day with me and catch up with you guys next time for next adventure who knows what we'll get into be something fun till next time have a great day keep living the dream peace